welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel and you love fragrance related content, then this is the channel for you. My name is Scott Aromatico and today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite fragrances that I'm looking forward to wearing this fall. I know it seems a little bit on the early side with fall being what just a little over a month away, but I just couldn't wait to talk about some of my favorite cozy fall slash winter fragrances. A lot of times when I think of fall fragrances, I think of fragrances that are a little bit heavier, that cut right through that cool weather. And a lot of times they're very sweet, they're very heavy, very gourmandish in nature. A lot of times they have a tobacco note, or they're, or they're very sweet, they have a strong vanillic-like scent to them. So there's so many different categories. They could be boozy, they can be vanillic, they can be tobacco, but whatever the case may be, I just love wearing those cozy fall scents. All right, the first fragrance I'm gonna wear is from one of my favorite fragrance houses in the world. There's so many great fragrance houses, Zhirzhov, Killian, Amouage, and I put this fragrance house up with any of them. I'm talking about the house of Zaharoff, and look at this packaging. This is called Signature Tobac from Zaharoff, and you know what you're getting with this fragrance. You're getting a gorgeous, beautiful tobacco fragrance. Love, love, love this scent. I love the presentation, guys, but what you're gonna get with this fragrance right here is you're getting a fragrance that lasts about six to eight hours, projects way more than an arm's length. This fragrance is so boozy coming from the cognac and rum. You've got tobacco, honey, plum, creamy vanilla, a little bit of oud on the dry down, and this is just such a masculine, gorgeous fall scent. I love this fragrance. It just reminds me of what's coming, those candy apples, American football, cooler weather, the leaves are changing, and that's what I get when I'm wearing this fragrance. There's something so classy and opulent about this fragrance. It's just really blended well, just like you would get anything from Claude Durr and Zaharoff. This is such a great fragrance, guys. You've got to try Zaharoff Signature Tobacco because it is one of the top 10 best tobacco fragrances on the market. Another one of my favorite Indian niche fragrance houses, this house is called the House of Argos. Man, this is a opulent, first-class luxury fragrance house. I'm telling you guys, from the bottles that they manufacture to the sprayer on the bottle to the juice itself, guys, everything they do is first-class. And this fragrance right here, this bottle is heavy. This cap is heavy. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. This one is called Triumph of Bacchus. Man, <laughs> this fragrance is so good. This is another fragrance with tobacco in it. It's another boozy-like scent as well. I love boozy tobacco scents. What about you guys? I'm pretty sure you probably do too if you love fragrance-related content and you love fragrances. This one is a must-have in your collection. And look at this juice. Guys, once you dive down the rabbit, hole that is Argos. And by the way, if you guys are looking to save a little bit of money on Argos, I do have an affiliate with them. Check out the link in the description down below and you can find out more ways to save money on this opulent luxury fragrance house that is Argos. But Triumph of Bacchus, guys, it's got a whole lot of rum. It's got a whole lot of booziness. And there's this beautiful, sweet, juicy white peach note mixed with that beautiful apple. And then the tobacco starts to develop. And basically, guys, what you get on the dry down is a whole lot of creamy, creamy vanilla and amber. It's absolutely amazing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's one of my favorites and it just lasts eight plus hours. The scent trail is absolutely intoxicating. The scent bubble is huge. It projects more than an arm's length. You're gonna absolutely love Triumph of Bacchus. You definitely need to have this fragrance for fall 2023. All right, next fragrance on my list is another tobacco fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. This one is from Tom Ford. It's called Tobacco Vanille. Guys, what can I say about this fragrance that hasn't already been said? This is another gorgeous, opulent, luxurious fragrance. It's a little bit spicy when you first spray it. You've got that nice tobacco in here, and then the chocolatey vanilla and dried fruits really take over. This is a really, really sweet fragrance mixed with that vanilla, mixed with that tobacco. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's blended to perfection. It's one of my favorite cozy fall scents. Man, I just picture myself being in a coffee house, listening to some good music, you know, with a nice book. Maybe there's a fire in the fireplace. You smell that coffee brewing in the background. Guys, this one just smells so gorgeous. It's so sweet. It's so sensual. It's so seductive. And I really love the chocolatey 
dried fruit and vanillic like scent you get. The tobacco is not as heavy in the front for me. It's kind of in the background, but it's there. So for those of you who don't like tobacco scents, maybe this is a good one to buy because it's very sweet and just so gorgeous and opulent. One of my favorite fall fragrances. And I get about six to eight hours on my skin. This one projects at about an arm's length. So definitely one of my favorites, Tobacco Vanille. Guys, what are some of your favorite tobacco forward scents? Comment down below in the section. You know, one of the fragrances I don't have yet is Naxos. It's on my list. Do you guys suggest I buy that one? But let me know down in the comments below what are some of your favorite tobacco scents. All right, let's keep the list going. The next one I wanna talk about is from YSL. This one is called Tuxedo, and it's getting harder and harder to find. It is one of my favorite scents. It's kind of on the expensive side. If you know where to look on discounters, sometimes you can find this at a decent price. Sometimes people are selling a fragrance like this on Macari or eBay. You just gotta watch out. I think Macari and eBay now are 100% money back guarantee, but definitely do your homework. I think you can still find this in the wild, although it is getting harder. But this fragrance is exactly as how it's labeled. When you think of Tuxedo, maybe you think of James Bond. Maybe you think of a, somewhere nice to go, somewhere luxurious. Maybe you're going to a play, whatever the case may be, or you're just wearing a tux, you know, for work, whatever. It's a special occasion, and this is a special occasion fragrance, but it smells so amazing. You know, as soon as you spray it, it's almost fresh and ozonic coming from that violet leaf. Then you've got that clean, beautiful rose in the middle. And the patchouli to me is almost like a chocolatey patchouli, more like a cocoa. And then, you know, as the fragrance starts to develop, you just get this nice boozy vanilla. It's so sweet and so sensual. I love this one. I get about six, somewhere between six, seven, eight hours on my skin. And this one projects at about an arm's length, but I cannot wait to wear this one a bunch this fall. All right, guys, next one on my list is one of my favorite fragrance lines. This one is from Guerlain. This is Lom Ideal Extreme. I love this fragrance. I've got a bit of a dent in it. I cannot wait to put even more of a dent in this fragrance. I know they're changing the bottles as we speak, but this one is another tobacco fragrance. But guys, the star of the show in this fragrance right here is the Almond Note. It's just absolutely addictive. You've got juicy plum, a little bit of cinnamon, you know, a hint of tobacco, and then on the dry down, it becomes very masculine with the leather and the woods. This one is so good. I get about six hours on my skin. It just smells so good. I love the plum note in here. There's also a cherry vibe mixed with that almonds. Almonds, cherry, plum, a little bit of tobacco, guys, a little bit of woods. Oh, just smells so good. And it's got a little bit of a boozy quality too. And guys, I get about six to eight hours on my skin and it projects about an arm's length. I cannot wait to wear this one this fall. Have you guys tried this one from this line? I also love, I love, love, love Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum. That one's another great one for the fall time as well. What fall fragrance list could you make without this fragrance right here? This one's called Spice Bomb Extreme, and it is absolutely amazing, guys. What you're going to get with this fragrance is a whole lot of vanilla. It is a vanilla explosion with a little bit of tobacco in the background, a whole lot of cinnamon, a little bit of spices, and just a nice boozy quality coming from this fragrance. It's perfect to start your fragrance collection with. If you're just getting started and you don't know where to go, it's a very youthful fragrance. It's very fun. It's very flirty, vibrant. Guys, definitely start off with Spice Bomb Extreme. It's so good. It's very simple. It's very spicy, vanilla-like scent. You're going to love it. It projects. It's cozy. You're going to get compliments with this one. So definitely get this one because it goes eight plus hours on my skin. And that's good for the money. You know, if you spend a hundred bucks on this and you get a fragrance that lasts about eight hours, you cannot beat that. So definitely pick up this one, Spice Bomb Extreme. You're going to love this one for the fall. Next fragrance on my list, guys, maybe you haven't heard of this company. Maybe you have. This is a luxury jewelry company called Chopard. They make absolutely exquisite jewelry, watches, bracelets, necklaces, whatever the case may be. But they are also in the fragrance game. And this one is called Chopard Oud Maliki. I love this bottle. I love the presentation. I love everything about this fragrance because it is so refined and so opulent. As soon as you spray this, it's very fresh right out of the gate and very sweet coming from that grapefruit. You get a relaxing lavender and then the tobacco kicks in. It's a little bit on the spicy side, but not too much. And then the leather and woods come in making this a masculine fragrance. Oh, absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites in my collection to wear this time of year. And fall is just around the corner, guys. So if you haven't tried this one, definitely find out a place where you can buy decants or samples. Test this one out because it's absolutely amazing. And guys, for those of you who don't know, 
This is just a guide. We're just having fun. This is what I like. You may not like my scent profile. So if you know your scent profile already, then definitely order accordingly or buy accordingly because I don't have all the answers. The best thing to always do is go down to your local store and test out fragrances or buy samples because my taste may not be yours. I hope that goes without saying. All right, next fragrance on my list, guys. And I've got to confess, I do not have the one Intense, but I do have Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. I have a decant of the Intense and I like it, okay? But I need to get myself a full bottle of it because this stuff is absolutely amazing. And this juice right here is good in and of itself. I love the Eau de Parfum. It just smells absolutely intoxicating. And what you're gonna get with this fragrance right here is you're gonna get a whole lot of cardamom. It's just a cardamom bomb. So as soon as you spray, you get a little bit of a nice freshness coming off the top. And then that cardamom really takes over and it's absolutely gorgeous. You get orange blossom, there's lots of amber, there's lots of tobacco. It's just a gorgeous fragrance. So basically what you're getting is cardamom, amber and tobacco and it is one of my favorite fragrances and it's another one of those great fragrances to start off with if you're looking for a fragrance to buy this fall and winter and don't know where to start definitely try out dolce and gabbana the one they have an eau de parfum they have an intense they have all kinds of different concentrations try out the one that fits you the best but i love this one it's so good the one by dolce and gabbana i get about six hours on my skin and it is the perfect fall fragrance all right it's coming in at number nine this is ch men Privé. <laughs> I love this one, guys. This is so good. My wife thinks this fragrance is sexy AF because it is. I love this flask looking bottle. It's a cool presentation. But guys, this one smells all kinds of good. This one is so opulent and this is a designer fragrance, okay? This smells so boozy and so smooth. Boozy and smooth is the way to describe it. As soon as you spray it, you're going to get a nice dose of booziness mixed with some sweet grapefruit, cardamom, lavender, vanilla, and it just smells so good. It just, there's something about this that smells so expensive and so opulent. It's one of my favorite fragrances, so I look forward to wearing this one a lot. I get about eight hours on my skin, and this one projects crazy off my skin, so I love this one. This one's called CH Men Privé. All right, last but not least, guys, this is an absolute beast. If you're looking for a fragrance that's beast mode, look no further than this one, Stronger With You Intensely by Giorgio Armani. This one is gorgeous. I don't wear this one that much because it's so strong. You gotta be careful because if you spray too much of this one, it'll knock you out and knock all those out around you. It'll become cloying almost sickly. But guys, this fragrance is so gorgeous because it's like nutty. It's a little bit sweet coming from the toffee. It's got some spiciness to it, cinnamon vanilla, and then it becomes really, really strong with the amber and the suede on the dry down. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it is a flamethrower. It is a beast, it's a torch, but it smells so good and so addictive. This one will cut right through the cold air, so you gotta be careful. Stronger With You Intensely is one of my favorites to wear this fall. And then one honorable mention, I love this one. This one is called Boss Bottled Intense by Hugo Boss. And what I love about this one on my honorable mention, this smells just like baked apple pie. It is so good. You've got the apples, the vanilla, the cinnamon, the cloves. This smells so gorgeous. I love the wearing this one a lot. And every year, this time of year, when the fall comes and the leaves change, we always go apple picking. So that's what this fragrance reminds me of. So they had to make my honorable mention. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top 10 favorites with my honorable mention being boss bottled what are some of your favorite fragrances that you are looking forward to wearing it could be niche it could be designer whatever cheapies whatever the case may be or maybe some of you guys like clones i don't care let me know some of your top 10 favorite fragrances you're looking forward to wearing in a month or so when football season starts let me know in the comments down below what are some of your fall or favorite autumn fragrances to wear i look forward to hearing from you guys if you love this video please leave a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of my fragrance family, hit that subscribe button down below and hit those bell notifications off to the side and I'll see you all in the next video.